going on guys so this is the 1.8 Technica well Mitsubishi Mirage 4G67 block and uh, with the B16 um, pistons standard bore 81 millimeter um, 21 millimeter wrist pin they hit top dead center on the Technica block perfectly Let's see. And the rods that I used were the standard B16 rods. I'll show you right now. You can see these are uh, standard PR3 rods, B16A. Shout out to Sean for hooking me up with them. Um, had to have them cut so they can fit the crank. These are these are your stock Mirage rods, technical rods, and these are the rods from a B16. As you can see, the B16 ones are a lot thicker. They're the same uh, crank bearing. The only difference is that I had to bring it to a machine shop and have them cut the width of the rod so it can fit in the crank. This is the Mirage one. It's a little skinnier and the B16 is fatter. So I had the guy just uh, measure each rod and I had him shave off each side of the B16 so it can fit the crank perfectly. So if anybody wants to know how to put a B16 rod in a 4G67 Mitsubishi 1.8 Mirage crank that's how you do it and uh, that's pretty much it so there you go oh and by the way if you do decide to take a Technica rod and do what some people suggest and bore the wrist pin out to 21 millimeter um, that's a horrible idea the wrist pin on a Honda is a 21 millimeter, so it's all ready to go. If you do it to a Mirage rod, this wall is going to be very skinny and most likely break on you, so good luck. And I don't know about the uh, the deck clearance, um, because this is actually a little different. The, the lengths are a tiny bit different, so if you do put um, a B16 or a Type R rod on a Mirage rod. I don't know if it might it might be a little under or over the block, um, but with this combination, it's just perfect. It's like it's made for our block. There you go. One on one.